So hello and welcome back to Neil Priest's Resident Evil 4. We start 4 by one I received some items from Ashley. You know I did. And and she gave it to you by mail. <laughs> no, she's right over there now. Oh yeah, the game almost crashed here for like five seconds. I don't know why. Oh, what a touching moment we have here. Oh, Who gave you my number. Oh wait, wait, wait. Read, read the lines they have here. Leave before the audience gets pissed off. You're nothing but an extra in my script. So don't get too carried away. They're gonna go way too far with this. I don't ever remember being a part of your crappy script. Well then, why don't you show me what the first class is? Like really through your own action. It's it's just gotta be a Japanese person who learned English and is like this is like cool stuff that people would say in movies, right? Like it's a bad sports thing. Oh yeah, and here. You get to see uh, the good times with uh, Leon's corpse. Follow me. Come here, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> she just kicks him a bunch. I don't know why that cracks me up so much, but I just find it funny that she kicks him a bunch. Let's pick up those bars of gold, jam them in my pockets. I don't have <laughs> enough space to put free medicinal herbs in uh, free medicinal herbs more, but I sure can carry stabs <laughs> of gold. Yep. Well, as as you know, money does not actually take up space. And all of those crystal eggs or flowers or whatever they are. Yep, yep, yep. This, now this it, just seems like a bad idea. Let me, I know that these people are trying to kill me. Let me get on this rickety platform above all this lava. Sh like should this, work out well. I mean, this didn't, this wouldn't even have to be rigged oh. to fall apart. And if you saw that reload sequence is the reload sequence I was talking about because it's super jittery. The, mm. the semi-auto rifle when he puts the ammo clip in. I'll have to look at it later. Yeah. Na, 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 na. The lava room. Part of every traditional medieval castle. Complete with fire-breathing dragon statues. But I don't care about those. I'm a busy guy. I got things to do. This really does look like a level from Zelda. It really does. It looks like any... Modern fire level in Zelda. Yeah, like from Twilight Princess. I guess. Fire. And I'm sort of hit. Oh, I hit. Because I think it takes two. So, and they had it somehow built in that that in order to get to the key item, all you had to do was shoot um, that down. So, you're perfectly fine walking on something that has been stuck in lava for centuries, probably. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's 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 not even hot. Look at that. I mean, with all of those active oh, and there's that guy, that Europe. one minion just walking to the wall forever. <laughs> he was there when I passed him earlier. I went up, shot the thing, came back. Yeah, I I, I noticed. <laughs> He's a slow one. Uh, if you if you do that section wrong, he'll actually come out and fight you. But if you just walk by in the right way, he's just like mm -hmm. cool. I'll be here, bro. Let me know if you want to chill. Get it? Because it's lava. Uh, and Ashley... Uh, oh, yeah. And, and here's another part that I'm not really certain I would do if I was in my sworn enemy's castle. Just, you know, chill out on this little roller coaster. Wee! They, they do want to get killed. Uh, I wish they. I wish when they were when they were leaving that place, uh, mm -hmm. they they would end up with like uh, little hats and flags from Disneyland. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or like a picture of them on the ride, you know? Like co cotton candy. <laughs> the mascot for the castle, you know? Yes. Do, 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 do. Like a little centipede. <laughs> Plush, plushy. That's Senti, the centipede. Senti, the centipede. Take, take my picture with Senti. <laughs> and here's, here's, in, yeah, I don't know why. They just decided to put roller coasters in here. I just mean, to make us watch that cutscene, I guess. It's too precious to you actually can't only it. have it once. 
And on uh, hard mode, you have to go get two things to go on to the next section. But on easy mode, which is what this playthrough is, you only have to get one. Wait. And now you use the fact that Ashley weighs something to uh, solve this puzzle. It's a really hard, it's a re real head scratcher, let me tell you. Oh my gosh, that was so hard. It actually, uh, actually kind of uh, liked it about uh, puzzles like that whenever they ha actually have you... Um, Use the person you're with. Yeah. yeah. Or like, for example, uh, there are multiple solutions. So like, uh, I remember there was... Uh, there was this one puzzle Follow me. Uh, mm -hmm. in uh, Blood Will Tell where. Uh, I think oh. you've lived long enough. Let's see if you can survive this time. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, I knew this was coming and shot all those things on the ceiling. And so, really, all we get out of this is a down shirt of Ashley. Okay. Moving right. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> yeah, you can just blow it up beforehand. And the reason I look at that wall will become apparent later because I was wondering if there was anything, you know, remarkable about that wall or something I should notice. Because the best use of this machine possible. <laughs> this is so. And here I realize I can't see what I'm doing because the stupid walls in my way. Making but like, uh, first person perspective. What happened in um, what happened in Blood Will Tell was uh, uh, there was a puzzle where you had to get a certain weight on the uh, on the thing. Uh, so it involved um, you could do it with all uh, with the boxes, uh, but you could also uh, get <laughs> it to work if uh, if instead of um, instead of putting up uh, one more box. You just have your character stand on top of everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's also a solution. Wait, I always like wait, these sort of follow, things. Wait, follow me. Wait, yeah. Wait, follow me. Wait, wait follow, follow me. me. Wait. <laughs> well, that's because I had I had to get all these guys to like uh, move that way, and so I shout a lot, basically. Also, it's fun to spam that. <laughs> Notice me, senpai. Notice me, senpai. <laughs> Oh yeah, in this part, um, where I kind of this is this is why this episode's twenty minutes long, uh, because right here, I kick open this. I'm like, uh, I know there's a thing I can do here. Also, isn't that a lovely pulsating those, sack? Those those knocky things on the doors look like look like penises. <laughs> Speaking of penises. <laughs> I, I was like, do I need this rocket launcher for anything? Probably not, right? I think it's just cool that they had that because you they don't have to do that for any reason. You can just, but you can shoot that and cause the thing to fall down. And there's a bunch of treasure. But she gets kidnapped. Anyway. Is that the third time she's getting gotten taken since we rescued her? I think yes. It might be the, be the third time. These guys are called uh, Navistadors. Navistadors. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I, I don't understand why they ask you these questions. Why would I not? Uh, sometimes it makes sense. But not in this game, <laughs> typically. <laughs> <That's>... Ah! <laughs> that, sorry. That did that startle me true. when it first happened, because I was like... I, I knew they were behind me, but I didn't know how close. Oh, do you actually flash. run faster if you don't have a weapon equipped? You're not going no. to pick those things up? No, you don't. Why did you not pick up all of those things that you probably don't need? Ah, uh, because I'd have to have killed the guy. Like in order to not take damage, and I'd rather just keep on moving. Mm. Excuse me. And I should have bought another rocket launcher there, but I was like, I don't need a rocket launcher for any reason. I wonder if you can see me, Mr. Kennedy. If you.
you even scratch her, I'll break your bones. I, I'll break your bones. What? It, like, isn't that like a? That's like a medieval age threat. I don't think anyone's said that in forever. Well, that good old times where you threaten people by breaking their bones. <laughs> now, if you Isn't were playing the part of the mafia. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll have to show you that later. <laughs> but anyway, if you were playing a uh, regular game, not an easy game, you'd have had to have gone up in that clock tower and unstuck a bunch of gears. But we're playing on easy mode, so they let us do this. And then, if you weren't playing on easy mode, this bridge would be full of shield guys and I got the rocket launcher and all sorts of stuff. But I'm playing on easy. So, I just get to By walk. the way, was it just me or was that uh, scene that happened after you moved the thing pre rendered? Yes, it was pre rendered and I don't think they upgraded it to HD like they did the. Yeah, I noticed it, uh, I noticed it being very. Um, <coughs> uh, Special. Very obviously pre rendered. Like, See? obviously pre rendered as in pretending that it's uh, in game graphics pre rendered. Right. See, and the reason I got so confused right there was because I was sitting there and I was like, well, I know that uh, what you're supposed to do is shoot a rocket launcher at this guy, but I have already used my rocket launcher. Well, this works too. I mean, he turned into a box of ammo, so that's how you know. Yeah, no, I mean bad. this guy, this guy right here, this because uh, uh, he's a he's one he's a Gyarados uh, with a uh, mask on, which makes him tougher. And of course, shooting him with a shotgun in the back doesn't affect him unless you don't hit his armor, basically. If you do hit his armor, you just have no effect. Well, there he goes. <laughs> All the way down there, because that's totally where I was. See what I mean? I totally hit his back. It just doesn't really count, because... Yeah, I'll use that herb. Oh, there's another guy. Uh, is there friendly fire? Uh, there... Yes and no. Okay, so the it kind of depends. If you have an explosive, then yes. Um, but the crossbowman won't accidentally ah! Well, that's won't accidentally hit the uh, the other uh, Ganados or anything like that. Well, this one, this one counted. Yep. Ah! Yeah, this one did. <laughs> well, yeah, he just it's it. It really is uh, intimidating. Like until he does that, <laughs> I'm gonna get you if I just keep then swinging like, around. Jaw. He doesn't know where I am. <laughs> <Just like. laughs> For something that really depends on hearing to, you know, know where somebody is, he's not very good at it. Ah. <laughs> No, he, he's not so great at picking, like, out where you're moving to. If you're, if you're walking, you're invisible to him. Yeah. If you're running, he can hear you. That's why I'm walking around slowly. And this fight right here is why this takes 20 minutes. But it shows off better, this enemy, so I was like, eh, whatever. That's kind of be, kind of be the theme of Chapter 4, is me being, eh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. He's coming for me. He knows I'm out of here somewhere. Look, another... They have a lot of healing items in easy mode, let me tell you. Ah, he turned. Well. Turn around. Let me shoot you in the back flesh globule. And see if you're good at the... Yeah, you can uh, hit him twice when he's wiggling around. Good. Oh, and he had a, a really cute box of chocolate, uh, chocolate uh, money. <laughs> no, that was more gold bars. More, more uh, giant bars of gold that I can stuff down my pants. 